Okay, today I'm going to show you how to animate blur in After Effects in your animation. So I have a animated scene here and what I want is for the two characters in the back to be in focus at the beginning of the animation and to have the elderly man here in the foreground at the end of the scene to be in focus. So I have my composition here and oh, here is the camera with a keyframe at the beginning and end of the composition to move the camera back as the scene goes. The first thing I want to do is to create a new null object. Click on it, hit enter. I'm going to name this blur, whatever name helps you remember what that null object is for. I'm going to hit P for position, click on the stopwatch to set the position, to create a keyframe of its position. I'm going to go into the camera now and what I want to do is open up camera options here and in the focus distance I want to oh also I want to make sure that the position for both the null object and the camera are showing and then I want to alt click on focus distance and then it, it opens up an expression and what I want to type is the expression length and parentheses and then what I want to do is I want to first pick whip the position of that null object and then I want to type a comma and then I want to pick whip the position of the camera and then close that with parentheses click out of it to close out that expression <clears throat> what that expression does will measure the length between the null object and the camera and will make that the focus distance so what you have now is wherever you move that null object in the virtual 3d space is going to be where the camera will focus you want to turn on depth of field an aperture setting that usually works for me I don't know 30 works sometimes kinda of depends word to the wise blur level can be very helpful sometimes but for the most part you're gonna learn depth of field how to work it much better if you keep that for the most part at a hundred percent because if you make the blur level 300%, it will blur everything. It'll confuse you if you're learning how to control what the camera does and does not focus on. So that now that we have that all set up, we're, we're ready to go. We can go ahead and animate that null object and it will keep in focus wherever that null object is at, no matter where the camera is in the virtual 3D scene, which is good because the camera moves. Go to the beginning of the scene. Where I want the null object in the beginning is back here where the characters in the back are. As you can see, those characters in the back came into focus and the window and things in the foreground went out of focus. So let's go ahead and go to the end of the scene. Find out, okay, we want the null object to be about up here. So going to get the null object and move it on forward it looks like and watch that window do you see how he's now in focus and the characters in the back are not in focus so basically we we brought the camera to focus in on on his head here now we have it to where it's focused on the characters in the back the camera moves back and then it it focuses in on that man when he speaks. So this is a very effective way to help your audience enjoy your animation more. Hope that was helpful. Please take the time to hit the like button, visit my animation at solomation.com, 
I hope your art goes well and have a great day. Thank you.